Magandang araw mga kasipnayan! Welcome to Sir Ocnick's YouTube channel. In this video, we will illustrate combination of objects and we will find the combination of n objects taken r at a time. Let us first review on cyclic permutation. In how many ways may the vertices of a regular octagon be named using the letters M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, and T. Using the formula for cyclic permutation, quantity n minus 1 factorial, where n will be equal to 8 because octagon has 8 sides, that will be quantity 8 minus 1 factorial or simply 7 factorial, which is equal to 5040. Therefore, we have 5040 ways using the letters M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T in naming the regular octagon. In how many ways can 12 different colored beads be arranged on a bracelet? Using the formula quantity N minus 1 factorial over 2 because the given now is an example of a key ring, we will then have quantity 12 minus 1 factorial all over 2 which is simply 11 factorial over 2. 11 factorial is equal to 39,916,800 divided by 2, that is equal to 19,958,400. Let us now discuss combination. A combination is a mathematical technique that determines the number of possible arrangements in a collection of items where the order of the selection does not matter. Precisely, when the order does matter, it is what we call permutation. But, if the order doesn't matter, it is an example of a combination. Let us now state whether each of the following represents a combination or a permutation. Arrangement of 10 people in a row. This is an example of permutation because of the word arrangement. Number of 4 digits that can be arranged from 7 digits. This is an example of permutation. A committee of 4 persons from a group of 6 persons is an example of a combination. Number of five-letter words from the English alphabet. This is an example of permutation. And lastly, a hand of five cards from a deck of cards is an example of combination. The total number of combinations of n objects taken r at a time is given by the formula n factorial all over quantity n minus r factorial times r factorial. Let's have our first example. Evaluate combination of 10 taken, or taken 3 at a time. The value of n here is equal to 10 while r is equal to 3. Using the formula, let us now substitute to evaluate the given combination that is equal to 10 factorial all over quantity 10 minus 3 factorial times 3 factorial. Simplifying the parentheses in our denominator, that is equal to 10 factorial all over 7 factorial times 3 factorial. Expanding our numerator, we will then have 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 factorial all over 7 factorial times 3 factorial. Since we now have a common factor which is 7 factorial, we may cancel out 7 factorial on both the numerator and the denominator. Simplifying the numerator, that is equal to 720 all over 3 factorial, which is equal to 6. And 720 divided by 6 is equal to 120. Therefore, the combination of 10 taken 3 at a time is equal to 120. Evaluate combination of 7 taken 4 at a time. n here is equal to 7 while r is equal to 4. 
substituting in the given formula, that is equal to 7 factorial all over quantity 7 minus 4 factorial times 4 factorial. Simplifying the parentheses in our denominator, that is equal to 7 factorial all over 4 factorial times 3 factorial. Expanding our numerator, we will arrive at 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 factorial all over 4 factorial times 3 factorial. Cancelling the common factor, which is 4 factorial, and simplifying the fraction, we will then have 210 all over 6. And 210 divided by 6 is equal to 35. Let us evaluate combination of 9 taken 5 at a time. N here is equal to 9, while R is equal to 5. Substituting the values in our formula, we will arrive at 9 factorial all over quantity 9 minus 5 factorial times 5 factorial. Simplifying the operation inside the parentheses, that is equal to 9 factorial all over 4 factorial times 5 factorial. Expanding our numerator, we will have 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 factorial all over 5 factorial times 4 factorial. Cancelling the common factor, which is 5 factorial, and simplifying the fraction, we will arrive at 3024 all over 24. 4 factorial is equal to 24. Simplifying the fraction, we will arrive at 126. Therefore, combination of 9 taken 5 at a time is equal to 126. Let us now evaluate combination of 5 taken 3 at a time plus the combination of 8 taken 2 at a time. Solving first for 5C3, that is equal to 5 factorial all over quantity 5 minus 3 factorial times 3 factorial, which is equal to 5 factorial all over 2 factorial times 3 factorial. Expanding our numerator, we will arrive at 5 times 4 times 3 factorial all over 3 factorial times 2 factorial. Cancelling the common factor, which is 3 factorial, and simplifying the fraction, we will arrive at 5 times 4, which is equal to 20, and 2 factorial, which is equal to 2. 20 divided by 2 is equal to 10. Let us now solve for combination of 8 taken 2 at a time. That is equal to 8 factorial all over quantity 8 minus 2 factorial times 2 factorial. That is equal to 8 factorial all over 6 factorial times 2 factorial. Expanding our numerator, we will arrive at 8 times 7 times 6 factorial all over 6 factorial times 2 factorial. Cancelling the common factor, which is 6 factorial, that will be 8 times 7 equals 56, while 2 factorial is equal to 2. 56 divided by 2 is equal to 28. Since the operation is addition, let us now add 10 to 28. And 10 plus 28 is equal to 38. Let us evaluate combination of 9 taken 5 at a time all over 4 factorial. So let us first evaluate 9C5. Using the formula, by substitution, that is equal to 9 factorial all over quantity 9 minus 5 factorial all over times 5 factorial, which is equal to 9 factorial all over 4 factorial times 5 factorial. Expanding our numerator, that is equal to 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 factorial all over 5 factorial times 4 factorial. Cancelling the common factor, which is 5 factorial, we will have 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 all over 4 factorial. Or simply, 3024 all over 24, which is equal to 126. Let us now evaluate 4 factorial. 
4 factorial is equal to 24 because 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 is equal to 24. Following the operation, the 9C5 all over 4 factorial, that is equal to 126 divided by 24 or simply 21 all over 4. Evaluate combination of 8 taken 3 at a time all over combination of 8 taken 2 at a time. Let us first simplify our numerator. That is 8C3 equals 8 factorial all over quantity 8 minus 3 factorial times 3 factorial or simply 8 factorial all over 5 factorial times 3 factorial which is equal to 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 factorial all over 5 factorial times 3 factorial. Canceling the common factor which is 5 factorial, we will then have 8 times 7 times 6 all over 3 factorial or simply 336 divided by 6 which is equal to 56. Let us now evaluate 8C2. 8C2 is equal to 8 factorial all over quantity 8 minus 2 factorial times 2 factorial. That is equal to 8 factorial all over 6 factorial times 2 factorial. Expanding our numerator, that is equal to 8 times 7 times 6 factorial all over 6 factorial times 2 factorial. Considering the common factor, which is 6 factorial, we will then have 8 times 7 equals 56 all over 2. 56 divided by 2 is equal to 28. Following the operation given, that is equal to 56 all over 28 or simply positive 2. Let us now summarize what we have discussed in this video. A combination is a mathematical technique that determines the number of possible arrangements in a collection of items where the order of the selection does not matter. The combination is given by the formula n factorial all over quantity n minus r factorial times r factorial. Let us now check your knowledge. Evaluate 12C4, 6C3 plus 7C2, and 7C3 all over 7C2. Do not forget to pause this video while you are doing the activity. Let us now check your work. Evaluate 12C4. Using the formula n factorial over n minus r factorial times r factorial, where n is equal to 12 and r is equal to 4, that is equal to 12 factorial all over 12 minus 4 factorial times 4 factorial. Simplifying the parentheses, we will have 12 factorial all over 8 factorial times 4 factorial. Expanding our numerator, we will arrive at 12 times 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 factorial all over 8 factorial times 4 factorial. Canceling the common factor, which is 8 factorial, we will have 12 times 11 times 10 times 9 is equal to 11,880 all over 4 factorial, which is equal to 24. 11,880 divided by 24 is equal to 495. Evaluate 6C3 plus 7C2. Let us first simplify combination of 6 taken 3 at a time. That is equal to 6 factorial all over 6 minus 3 factorial times 3 factorial, which is equal to 6 factorial all over 3 factorial times 3 factorial. Expanding our numerator, we will arrive at 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 factorial all over 3 factorial times 3 factorial. Canceling the common factor, which is 3 factorial, that will be equal to 6 times 5 times 4 over 3 factorial or simply 120 divided by 6, 
which is equal to 20. Let us now simplify 7C2. That is equal to 7 factorial all over quantity 7 minus 2 factorial times 2 factorial, which is equal to 7 factorial over 5 factorial times 2 factorial. Expanding our numerator, we will then have 7 times 6 times 5 factorial all over 5 factorial times 2 factorial. Canceling the common factor, which is 5 factorial, we will have 7 times 6 equals 42 all over 2 factorial, which is equal to 2. And 42 divided by 2 is equal to 21. Adding the two results, we will have 20 plus 21, and that is equal to 41. Let us now evaluate 7C3 all over 7C2. Let us first simplify the numerator, which is 7C3. That is equal to 7 factorial all over 7 minus 3 factorial times 3 factorial, or simply 7 factorial over 4 factorial times 3 factorial. Expanding the numerator, we will arrive at 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 factorial all over 4 factorial times 3 factorial. Let us now cancel the common factor, which is 4 factorial. We will have 7 times 6 times 5, which is equal to 210, over 3 factorial, which is equal to 6. 210 over 6 is equal to 35. Simplifying the denominator, 7C2, that is equal to 7 factorial, all over quantity 7 minus 2 factorial times 2 factorial, or simply 7 factorial times 5 factorial times 2. 7 factorial all over 5 factorial times 2 factorial. Expanding the numerator, that is equal to 7 times 6 times 5 factorial all over 5 factorial 2 factorial. Canceling the common factor, which is 5 factorial, that is equal to 7 times 6 equals 42 all over 2 factorial, which is equal to 2. 42 plus uh, divided by 2 is equal to 21. Simplifying the fraction 35 over 21, we will arrive at 5 over 3. Thank you for watching Sir Optics YouTube channel. If you think that this video is a big help, hit like, feel free to share, and do not forget to subscribe. Always have fun in learning math. Enjoy learning! Thank you and God bless!